Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about how to delete duplicate elements from an array in C Sharp. C Sharp makes it very easy with distinct built-in method when we deal with integer array or a string array. But it's little tricky when we want to delete object element from an object array. So in this video, we will learn how to do that. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. How to delete duplicate elements from an array in C Sharp. Actually, we are not going to delete duplicate elements from an array in C Sharp. Instead, our goal is to get distinct elements from an array where duplicate elements should not be there, right? So C sharp array has a distinct built-in method by which we can eliminate duplicate values. So there are two types of array, data type array and object array. In data type array, we can simply use distinct built-in method for eliminating the duplicate elements and it's done, right? But in object array, we need to handle in a different way. So here we are going to see the examples how to delete duplicate elements from an integer array, which is of data type array, right? So here, if you see these examples, there is a numbers which is of int array type okay and then it has number like 5 10 15 20 25 5 20 and 100 if you see this 5 and 20 are getting repeated right so basically these are the duplicate entries right so how we are going to remove that we are going to use this distinct method and that's what i have written numbers dot distinct method dot two array so basically we are creating another array that will have only distinct values of number and we are storing into this distinct numbers right which is of int array type and then what i am going to do i am just going to iterating with the help of for each loop that's what i have written for each int num in distinct number and then i am printing into this number into this console window and that's what i have written console dot write line num so it will be giving the distinct value and if you see the output shown over here right hand side so value is coming 5 10 15 20 25 100 so these 5 and 20 right which was the duplicate entries so it just got removed and then we are getting only distinct values so that's way how we are going to remove the duplicate elements from an integer array okay now see the examples number two delete duplicate elements from a string array which is again data type array right so here if you see there is a string array fruits that has elements apple orange grapes apple so if you see this apple apple is getting repeated so apple is the duplicate entry right so how we are going to remove that right so for that we are going to use the distinct method and that's what i have written fruits dot distinct method dot two array so it will give the new array that we are storing into this distinct fruit object of a string array right so this distinct fruits will be having only three values apple orange and grapes and these apple that is the duplicate entry got removed okay now what i'm going to do i'm just going to iterating this distinct fruit a string array and printing into this console window and that's what i have written console dot write line str and if you see the output shown over here only distinct fruits name getting appeared as a part of output right so apple orange grapes got printed into this console window that's how we are going to delete duplicate elements from a string array which is of data type array okay now we are going to focus on how to delete duplicate elements from an object array okay how to delete duplicate elements from an object array in c sharp so here we have two options that help us to delete duplicate entries from an object array what are those options? Number one option is implementation of I equality comparer interface. Number two option is I equitable interface implementation. Okay, so let's see first using I equality comparer. If you see this example shown over here, there is a class named imply that has two auto implemented properties name and email, and both are of a string data type. Now we have imply array that has five object of imply class if you see this first element of first object of imply class right that has name is equal to ruby email is equal to ruby at the rate my dot my company dot com so this first entry is having the duplicate entry at the fifth position also right name is equal to ruby and email is equal to ruby at the my company dot com so basically we want to get the distinct value right we want to remove this 
fifth entry. How we are going to do that? For that, we are going to write something like this implies dot distinct new imply comparer and then dot two array. What is this new imply comparer? I have created another class imply comparer class that is implementing I equality comparer interface, which is of imply type, right? So when we are implementing this, we need to provide the implementation of this equals method and the get has code method, right? And that's what I have written this two methods, right? And if you see this in equal methods, what I'm doing, I am just going to comparing with the name and email with these two elements and whatever the output is going to come, we are just going to return as a Boolean value. Okay. And here in the get has code, what I'm going to do, we are receiving this imply object, right? And then we are getting obj email dot get has code. And then this is the logical XOR operator, right? So here what I'm going to do obj dot name equal equal to null, then zero. Otherwise, it's just going to get this name has code, right? So now, if you see this distinct imply variable is going to have the distinct value of that particular array. And once we get this array, that has only distinct value. What I'm going to do, I'm just writing this for each loop to just iterate this distinct imply array and then fetching one by one imply data. And then I'm printing the name and email to the console window. Okay, if you see this output, this Ravi name is appearing only once. So duplicate entry got removed. How it, it got removed? Because I have used this distinct method in which I have passed this object of imply comparer and this imply comparer is implementing this i equality comparer that has equals and get has method so these things is just going to help us to get the distinct value of this imply array right and that's what we are going to get this dis distinct imply and then we are iterating and into into this console window and that's what this output got appear into this console window where this duplicate entry is removed okay now we see using i equitable interface how we are going to use this in order to delete duplicate elements from an object array in c sharp right so if you see there is a class imply here only i have implemented this i equitable interface of imply type right so these are two auto implemented properties name and email and here i have written this equals and get has code method right because i have implemented this i equitable interface so we need to have these implementation of these two methods right and that's what what this method is doing it just checking name dot equals other imply dot name and email dot equals other imply dot email so basically it is just verifying name and email with these two implies one is the imply and the other one is the other imply okay now in get has code what i'm going to do i'm just going to use this get has code also the get has code of name attribute right based on that the distinct operation is going to perform so here again there is an imply array that has object of imply class right so these five object of imply class is there and so this first entry is having the duplicate entry as the fifth position also right and that's what i just want to remove one of the entries from this array how we can do that so for that i have used implies dot distinct dot two array and here only distinct method will work like we use to data type array right similarly we can use that because i have implemented this i equitable interface over here of imply type and in background it is just going to use this equals and get has code method and then it is just going to remove the duplicate entries from this imply and then we are going to get stored the distinct value into this variable and then iterating with the help of for each loop and then one by one i'm printing into this console window and that's what if you see this output this output does not have any duplicate entries right so Ruby, Ruby was having the duplicate entries in the imply array. But here, if you see this output, Ruby just appearing only one time, right? So basically, that's the way how we are going to remove the duplicate entries from an object array.
Now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video we show how to delete element from an array in C-sharp whether it is data type based array or object array. In object array we had two options, i equality comparer and i equitable interface implementation that help us to eliminate the duplicate object from an object array. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.